This has absolutely ruined my night. 2021 is to 2000, as 2000 was to 1979. I will be pretending I never knew this information. Who else used to play with this when they were bored? I remembered I used to try and balance the switch perfectly between on and off. These were the filters I grew up with. I can't believe as a child, movies had me thinking these people were teenagers. When you realize Sid from Toy Story 1 was the garbage man in Toy Story 3. Technology design peaked her. Who remembers these? I just got pinched by looking at this picture. Dad, I can't swim. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Who would win in a fight? The Predator or Kevin from Home Alone? How much prep time does Kevin get? People brag about buying a house at age 16. Buddy, I built my own at age 6. They sent it out bruh. As they should, because it's a swear word. More adults have died from eating laundry pods than kids. Oh, so I guess millennial children are too busy eating avocado toast to enjoy a nice hearty detergent pod. My boyfriend did karate when he was little and he was the only kid in his class who chose a lava background for this dramatic series of photos. Actual game graphics versus how we felt it when we were kids. Did anyone else used to believe that gum would stay in your stomach for seven years if you swallowed it? Please say yes or I will feel weird. I wouldn't let him drown in this pond. Guy makes a girl cry by taking the last ride of the day. The internet is on his side. Actually, I can't hate the Percy Jackson lightning thief movie. The guy used an iPod touch to kill Medusa. I'm sorry, that's just just too good. It's not that our parents tried to kill us. They just didn't always put a lot of effort into preventing it. So glad I grew up doing this and not this. My son just turned three, so we went to his yearly checkup and the doctor asked him what his favorite fruit was. And he looked that man dead in his eyes and said, cheese. Nickelodeon Studios 20 years ago versus today. This is depressing. You know you're getting old when you watch Home Alone and wonder how much their mortgage is. I took an iPad away from my sixth grade student in class today. I changed the password and gave it back with this. Idea. Open a 90s themed bowling alley called Memory Lanes. Cartoon Network channel. Should just stop making new shows and replay the old ones. When I was younger, I used to draw the sun in the corner of the paper every time. School never taught us what we're supposed to do during tax season, but at least they taught us this. These movies were slept on too. Not in my household. We watched these faithfully. Mum uses a trash can to contain her baby while she croaked in the park. 1969. I'm noticing a trend here. Just an observation. Wild style doesn't deserve this. When the raindrop you pick loses the race. Back in my day, we called emojis wing dings. Puts chips on a sandwich. Eight-year-old me after swimming all day. This is some serious gourmet stuff. Best childhood memory. Sleeping on the sofa and magically waking up on bed. The early 2000s were a lawless wasteland. If you're at a sleepover and your friend has toothpaste like this, call your mom to go home. Can we talk about how good this thing tasted. I'm not the only one. I thought I was just weird. I loved this. You might be old, but are you this old? Shout out to everyone who can still remember their childhood phone number, but can't remember the password they created yesterday. You are my people. What did you do when you were kids that you haven't forgotten? I put dried banana leaves on a fire, but the flame caught a leaf that was by the foot of the tree. I burnt the whole tree down. All these youths trying to cancel skinny jeans clearly never experienced this trauma. I'm this old. When you're three, but just sold your first house. Goodbye Flash Player. You were a great part of our childhood. Woman adopts elderly dog from shelter and finds out it's actually her lost childhood puppy. My favorite childhood memory is my back not hurting. When you download a childhood game and it gives you the same amount of happiness it used to. Everyone remembers cowpole from their childhood. But do you recall the banana flavor? No, I, I, I don't remember. Seven year old me trying to hide a yawn from my parents so they don't send me to bed early. Eight year old me looking where I could buy the pair for do y'all play with your Wii? Yeah, I, I can't read this. I will get demonetized. No, 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 no. I was at Target yesterday and this little girl wanted to buy Halo 4, but this lady came up to her and said, video games are for boys. This lady had a box of tricks in her cart and so the girl grabs the box and said, and tricks are for kids and ran off with the cereal and the game. Small child one, lady, zero. This child wins, <laughs> this child wins in life. Passing notes in class was like sending a text message. The 90s, when people refused to wear seatbelts in cars, but loved wearing them on their pants. Staying home from school starter pack. They've been the same age my whole life. We were really sliding down baking sheets. Why did kids born in the 80s all believe marine biologist was the ultimate career? This is why. Okay, but how tight was it rearranging your room when you were younger and it was feeling like a different space and you would show your parents and they would be like, wow, very nice. And you would be like, oh yeah, new room, new me. I can feel and smell this picture. 
I related to this guy so much as a kid because I had autism and then he turned out to be a robot. I want one of these at my house for the sole purpose of popping my back. Childhood is when you idolize Batman. Adulthood is when you realize the Joker makes more sense. 45 year old men on Facebook, you're searching for something. You find an old toy from your childhood instead. It brings back good nostalgic memories. You know what show had the biggest plot twist ever? I had absolutely no clue. Blue was a girl. When you're flying through the air, but your brain decides to bring up a bad childhood memory. Choose a security question. Where did you go for your honeymoon? What was your first job? What was your first girlfriend or boyfriend's name? What was the name of your childhood best friend? Nobody. The son I drew when I was five. Were the set of movies real or was it just some weird fever dream? When I was a kid, there were no phones or tablets. We read cereal boxes at breakfast. Why did every advertiser in the 90s think the only way to sell to kids was with commercials that felt like bizarre fever dreams? Nothing says Halloween, like setting up a store in the corpse of our childhood. Kids are interesting. I'm babysitting a nine-year-old boy right now, whose homework is to write a fictional story, and he wrote about how in millions of years, the sun will expand, killing everything, and one man fell asleep at the beach and missed all the official announcements about the world ending, but he managed to be the only survivor of the solar flares because he applied- <laughs> because he applied a hundred sunscreen. Oh my, I'm babysitting, and the kids are Pokemon battling, and the seven-year-old girl just yelled, you don't mess opian with my espion and I've been laughing for 10 minutes. They're the best and 100% real and 100% not a plot for the corn to consume your children. My final resting place will be in the corn pool, I guess. Looking down at my mom after refusing to leave the McDonald's play place, my bedroom I cleaned without being told to, five year old me. My mom wondering what I did wrong. The games we used to play, only real 90s kids know about this TV. But what show does this TV make you think about? That static feeling on your hands when you touch the screen after you've turned it off. I'm right in the back of the station wagon years old. I'm going to tell my kids, this is Tom Brady. You can only bring one back, Blockbuster. We flexing our ages now? Only the real ones know. I hated that Michael Jackson spider. I started crying in the dining hall because I was laughing so hard after remembering Scooby-Doo's real name is Scoobert Doobert. Nostalgia. This is such a deep, deep memory. I almost can't tell if it's real. If you remember this, you are qualified to have a veteran discount. Bro, I don't know what this is. I don't know where I found it, but I used to live on this, making cakes for hours. My doctors, they aren't old enough to go to medical school. This is fraud and they're all unethical quacks. Don't be ageist on my post. Answer me this, how high is their kill count? With you, it will be one more. Also, I got a tiny rubber baby for 95 cents. My son, this little plastic lit in fonts by the computer vexes and haunts me. Is your dad a tragic 19th century French author? If you don't understand this costume, you're too young. I'm too young. Crying at this family portrait posted by that guy. I'm fascinated by this implicit law of different members of this family being tasked with looking after this immortal mystery dog. 80s dentist. Good job, Jimmy. Now pick a prize from the treasure chest. My three-year-old daughter said she needed raisins. Remember that time when you had to carry both your iPod and your phone because you did not have a smartphone yet? I know, Gen X her, and I totally overdo ellipsis. What happened in our generation that made us so fond of them? It's like we don't ever want to commit to ending a thought, or we're afraid of run sentences, a way of expressing stream of consciousness. Hmm. It's because we spent years of trailing off when we realized no one was listening to us. Admit you're old. I wanted to chop off my fingers with this so bad, just to see. This is by far the best reunion photo I've ever seen. Did you guys ever used to lay down in the backseat of your parents' car and doze off for a little bit and then try to figure out where you were exactly on the trip by feeling the curves and seeing if you recognize the passing surroundings. Hitting the age where I finally understand why people were so excited to win an appliance. Y'all remember when it was chicken nugget day at school and everyone would sprint to lunch. You know the album was going to be great if they hit this lean on the I thought I was the film nerd when I watched this growing up. When someone doesn't understand my Spongebob reference from 2002. These things used to be like $30 and I devoted my life to them and they are only $1. I am so mad. These tasted like dry kool-aid mix. Chalk and aquarium gravel. I can still feel my sweaty legs peeling off of these. People in their early 20s still refer to people older than them as adults. When do you think they stop and realize they are adults? I'm not an adult. I'm a child with a drinking permit. Drinking permits. What's that in your sippy cup, vodka? What do you think you'll be doing in your golden years, me? I was today years old when I found out that Walt Disney put in his will that all Disney classics are to be remade every 10 years so each generation 
generation gets to enjoy them. I would never wish this on my worst enemy. Today's generation doesn't know anything about these. Can you move your hand? I love being the first person awake on a vacation because now I'm sitting on the beach having a coffee by myself like I'm in a dramatic movie scene where I've just had a life realization. If you don't know where this- Yeah, I'm not old enough. When you give your big eraser to your friend and he steps holes in it with his pencil. I regret to inform you that my brain will think it's the year 2000 until the day I die. When it's 30 years ago, 1970. How long ago were the 90s? 10 years ago. Thank you for your understanding in this matter. The absolute best popsicles. You have not experienced true fear until a poster falls down in the middle of the night. No one knew what these lollipops were called, but Gen X ate them every summer, and I don't like these at all. What self-care looked like in the 90s. This is how our parents used to text back in the day. This house better be spotless before I get home from work. If it's not, everybody, I'm going to tell my kids this is Super Mario. I just want to apologize to the people I called old at 30 when I was 18. No English word has double O except the word food. Prove me wrong. This is proof that preschool education is important in childhood and that choosing the right books and tools to learn is more important than Nollywood. My entire childhood, I thought they just had hundreds of towels. When mum told you to be home when the streetlights turn on and you forgot until you see headlights that look like your dad's car coming, you can still taste the water from one of these. My co-workers after I told them a really funny story from my childhood, the robot that did all the computer voices in 80s music. With all due respect, if I am watching a show from 1999 on a streaming service, I want all the commercials to be from 1999. It's been a long time. I, yeah, I'm sorry. This is too far back. I love the fact adults are buying plushies, Lego build sets, Hello Kitty crafts, painting their room, all kinds of colors, putting fairy lights everywhere. I love it. I love seeing all of us put our money in stuff we wanted as kids or teens and seeing it come to fruition. The 1990s can be defined by buying a CD on the strength of one good song you heard on the radio. Apparently once upon a time, this was a trend. My culture is not your costume. My Nintendo dog, every day since 2006, waiting for me to come back and feed it. Life was better when we had these cups. Just got carded at the liquor store. Nice. Set my keys down to get my ID and the guy behind the register says, never mind, that blockbuster card is good enough. I'm old enough to remember the very first TED talk. It was most excellent. A friendly reminder that when you used to rent videos from us, we did not care who you shared it with as long as you returned it on time at Netflix. My daughter was wearing a flannel hoodie, so I said, hey, in my day, hey, the 90s called, and she replied, yeah, because they couldn't text, and damn, I'm really getting tired of my kids owning me. I'm positive that this toy that everyone would test at the store in the 90s is actually the origin story of the virus. Serotonin in this economy? This is it. We have found the ultimate specimen of millennial humor. Being a fossil would be so relaxing. I would love to be a preserved corpse for hundreds of millions of years until I am gently unearthed by a bunch of nerds who were so excited to see me and be my friend. It's 2007. You're working on a PowerPoint for school. It's about ancient Egypt. You select this font. Yes, perfect. I lost my pizza cutter, so I used a CD. It cuts like a knife. Why are you tripping over Toys R Us closing? Half of your parents couldn't afford to shop there. Acting like somebody stole your childhood. You were drinking out the garden hose with the rest of us. Relax. My childhood teddy bear. When I pass him on to my newborn son. Infants are so funny. I was holding my niece today and I just told her, I diagnose you with baby. And she just stared at me with the absolute wildest eyes. Like, I just told her the secrets to life itself. So I nodded and went, it's true, you're just a baby. And she stopped for a few seconds, then absolutely yelled her little head off. Very seriously informed me. I need some water. Water break and face planted into my shoulder, where she promptly began to try and eat my shirt. Me, literally any time I'm holding a TV remote. After all, why not? Why shouldn't I slide off the battery cover? Married to my childhood friend for six happy years, my wife wants to read her old diary from about third grade with me. Sounds kind of dumb, but if she's happy, then fine. Mostly stupid kid stuff with random words like hate and big writing. Eventually, we get to the part where she meets me. According to the diary, she only wanted to be friends because her logic was that nerds become rich and she wanted to marry me to get rich. I remembered how she was trying to get me to learn and into college pretty much my entire childhood. This led me to actually get a good job as a software engineer. I led a good life because my wife was a sociopathic gold digger at eight years old. When this guy turned 21, his father charged him for all the expenses associated with his childhood, including the fee for his delivery at birth. He paid the bill but changed his name and never spoke to his father again. Fact, Gohan's childhood 
wanted wasn't that bad and he was just overreacting so people would feel sorry for him. I hope you spent that $20 wisely at the book fair. Me. I did. I'm going to go read now. As I run downstairs, looking at all my new pens, highlighters, and pack of glow-in-the-dark stars, the fact that there's only 5,000 people who've liked this scares me. That means that less than 5,000 people know where these come from. I feel old. Very odd. Literally every person on earth has read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. I made some offhand comment about hating how I looked in front of my nephew, and he looked at me and said, just because you would change parts of something doesn't mean you can't love it. And I was like, wow, making this fake story about a kid really changed my perspective. <laughs> the kids these days make up songs about killing the Wiggles and Doc McStuffins, or did Barney the Dinosaur just unlock some latent primal rage in my generation? Listen, I had a childhood pre-Barney, and we didn't sing about killing our childhood characters. As far as I am aware, so I am inclined to suspect that goddamn purple dinosaur just struck some kind of collective nerve. Yeah, breaking up is sad, but have you ever given away your childhood Lego collection? No, but my mum used to do this with all of my stuff. It's annoying, but you know, it's life. Like all my Pokemon cards, all my Lego, she would just give to a family friend. Eh. Yeah, I didn't even have a good excuse for why my mum did that. Come on. My Lego! 10 year old me searching up real ghost caught on tape on YouTube. These were the original ankle breakers. Very few kids had the magic touch to open this. This was also a source of entertainment when I was a kid. Kids be like, I'm tough. I'm not a kid anymore, but lose their mind when you hit them with one of these. Who else has a permanent scar from their childhood? My childhood was a permanent scar. Society won't heal until we bring back colorful, transparent technology. Remember this? I used to get mad as hell when those stupid kids couldn't remember a simple pattern. Kids getting thrown off right and left. Total carnage. Wails of anguish. Not one adult gave a single care about it. Let's confuse the 2000s kids. Literally not one 2000s kids is confused. Toddlers staring at their parents' iPad after locking it for 35 years. I have waited my entire life to see someone actually try this. POV, you became friends with another kid and you never saw them again. Seven-year-old me, after eating all of my vegetables. The Teletubby's son baby has a baby. We've been alive for too long. Runs over fingers. Fuck, abort mission. Abort Chicks dig scars. Pain is temporary. Glory is forever. Wipes tears. It's, it's beautiful. A piece that defines a generation. What's the dumbest thing you believed as a child that my mother was holding my money for me? Two-year-old orders 31 cheeseburgers after mum leaves phone unlocked. Shout out to the Uber Eats driver who showed up and left 31 cheeseburgers with a baby. Like, this is not my problem. What's the dumbest thing you did as a child? I chased a neighbor's chicken for hours till it got tired and passed out. I was so scared it had died. I did not even know chickens could get tired. Question, be honest. Growing up, which kid were you? All the B kids are in jail right now. When your mom sends you to your room and the wind causes the door to slam hard, you will die in five. The first ever cause for heart attacks. If you've always wondered, now you know. I'm this old. Hell, nah man. Real people would be like, <sighs> I used toothpaste. Did anyone else's parents tell them that they cannot shower during a thunderstorm? Or you will get struck by lightning and die? Or is it just my mom? How it looked versus how it felt. You are lying to yourself if you say these didn't always hit as a snake. The older you become, the nastier they become. Eight-year-old me, after switching all the caps of my friend's colored markers. How my brain records my life. Good memories. Cringe memories. Me as a child, when I heard my mom was on the phone with my dad, grandma, or teacher, to children. The good news is that when you're a grown-up, you can eat ice cream for dinner. The bad news is that it's because you're depressed. The 90s kids fidget spinner. Like the video, if you can hear this tweet. Six-year-old me, digging in my sandbox to reach the center of the earth. Anyone else grown up now and starting to feel like the gardener? What we did as kids versus what we imagined. Chewing three at once until your jaw hurts. To mom, let me outside or I will break this family. From Evan, the seven-year-old's got flair for the dramatic. What if one year, they replaced the Oscar trophies with these things, and we all watched the actors try to hold on to them in the stage? I hate this part of a lollipop. It'd be cutting the roof of my mouth. I cut down my childhood maple tree and found a toy my brother took and hid from me 30 years ago. Crazy. These things were so fun during my childhood. My sim is smoking a cigarette over her toddler while he dreams of death. Average iFunny childhood. The older I get, the more I wonder what Kevin's dad did to afford this house and a vacation to Paris for nine people. Dad letting us have one pee break 
on a six hour road trip. Consider this a professional courtesy. When I was a kid, I pretended tic tacs were pills and drugs, wafer sticks were cigarettes, Gatorades were alcohol, and grape juice was red wine. I was just that cool. Kids today are so coddled. Elf on the shelf, Toy Story. In my day, if dolls magically came to life, they would hurt you and everyone you loved. I want to drink the mouse water. Let me drink the mouse water. You could end someone's life with one of these. Getting your handwriting license was like a kid's version of passing a driving test. The phone my sister has, she's six. The phone I had when I was six. The phone my dad had when he was six. What the hell is a DreamWorks face? This face. Okay, no, but this is so much funnier to me now because I went to DreamWorks and met one of the head animators and apparently everyone knows about the DreamWorks face and complains about it, but the marketing people keep doing it for some reason. Have you had previous retail experience? I'm this old. Please play again. Buy Dew or Pepsi. Get one free. I remember getting excited over these. This is the first picture I was given of my unborn son. Congrats. It's a computer error. Who remembers these? Because I just found a big box at work and now they're mine. Let's play with them in a pillow fort. Maybe if you had a business that you were passionate about, then you would know what it takes to run a business, but you don't. Some of y'all never got tricked into pulling one of these by your siblings and it really shows. Why were these legal? The only thing worse than stepping on a Lego? Stepping on one of these. Why did I grow up thinking that marine biologist was like one of the five main jobs people had? Y'all remember when principals used to sit in our classes and then our teachers became fake nice for a day? Yeah, but we also acted like we were perfect students, so. Me at 10 years of age, trying to figure out why the fridge goes dark after I close it. Eight-year-old me, finally achieving my dream. Two magnets, desperately trying to repel each other. Tape. Magnets. I want to commit. I am magnetic. How did I never once think to use tape? Damn. Your childhood ended when you uninstalled this game on your phone and downloaded Snapchat. Never seen this glass in one store, but growing up, it was legendary. As a kid, I thought sleepovers were wild because we played video games for 10 hours. Then I heard about girl sleepovers and they're wild men. They gossip, eat 40 pounds of food and then take blood oaths and host fight nights and sacrifice the weakest member to the goddess of the moon. Like the hell? Me. My mom. Talking for 20 minutes. Person we ran into at the grocery store. Throw back to when Taco Bell looked like this. When you download a childhood game and it gives you the same amount of happiness it used to. In elementary school, when we would read out loud to the class from the textbook, I would literally count the kids in front of me and figure out what section I was reading so I could practice it before it got to my turn. And I think that's where my anxiety started. Nowadays, 12 year olds are looking for love. At that age, I was just trying to become a super saiyan. To this day, I still don't know what DS stands for. Dual screen. You've ruined everything. Are there science camps for adults? Like, I just want to help someone dig up dinosaurs or count mushrooms or weigh turtles for like a week. Me reading the reviews of my favorite childhood movie, learning that the critics hated it and it bombed at the box office. My childhood would have been a lot cooler if my grandparents had been my parents. Your parents ever used to bust into your room, stare at you, look around, then close the door and leave. Nobody. Your friend's kitchen table growing up. Me, opening my eyes after washing my hair for 0.2 seconds because I think a demon is watching me. When that Warner Bros logo turned into a police blimp, nothing else mattered as a child. Postcard from child from camp. Not dead yet. What is a privilege that people act as if it isn't? Having your childhood documented. Pictures, videos, letters, bad childhood art, all of it. You may be old, but are you this old? Yes, I am. I loved this toy. My dogs also loved them. It's pathetic when someone says their childhood was ruined by a remake or a reboot. My childhood was ruined by my parents, like God intended. Seven-year-old me realizing mom's name isn't mom. Five-year-old me seeing the moon during the day. Life before smartphones. He remembers these days. The music choice videos used to come in clutch when you physically want to be in your favorite cartoon. I'm not gonna lie. Everyone disrespected this show, but this was my stuff. This was our love and hip hop when we were little. Them. What did you just put in my drink? Me. Winks and whispers. You'll see in a few minutes. There is always that one innocent spoon in every home that you just dislike for no reason. Why do I understand this? The universal sign for the doctor's surgery. Rappers today looking like doodle bears. Y'all pulling everything out of my unconscious memory this week, huh? I judge people based on what they call these. Loom bands, skying, crisps, and ice lollies. Student. This text is so confusing. Maybe the image might explain something. The textbook image. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known, because everyone else fell off the track. Doofenshmirtz evil. If you claim you did not sing this in the tune, you sit on a throne of flies. Found the most 2001 piece of technology ever made. What kids have these days versus what we had. I'm watching Dora 
and I see this beautiful sight. A single father raising his son by himself. No help. I'm old as hell. The map got a son. Egg. Lava form. Feral adult form. Domesticated adult form. Aggressive. Invasive crossbreed. Kept as a pet. I hope this clears things up. What the fresh fuck. Eight year old me. Pretending to smoke when it's cold. Disney princesses. As lukewarm bowls of water. What the hell Buzzfeed. When mum lets you keep the change. Rex in Toy Story 1 versus Rex in Kingdom of Hearts 3. Wow. What mattifying moisturizer is he using? Absolutely no one. Six year old me. Twelve year old me at the toys section. Knowing full well I'm never getting any of it. Kids today have their TikTok dances. But what do they know about this? If you didn't learn math on this you are too young for me. I must be getting old then because what is this? Ever done this? Yes. And it hurts. Oh dear. God no. If I ever get married I want to do the vows from Corpse Bride. A Jurassic Park reboot with the dinosaurs replaced by Land Before Time characters. Did anyone else's parents used to drive them around neighborhoods to look at people's Christmas lights and it used to be the most exciting thing ever. I'm so glad I grew up with this and not this. I am working a morning shift at a cafe. We are serving breakfast. A little boy and his mother into the cafe. So what will it be? I want to devour the unborn. There is a sudden silence and everyone turns to look. The mother looks very embarrassed. Eggs. <laughs> he would like some eggs. This is exactly what I would do if I spawned a kid. Did you just say spawned? Be me. Fourth grade. Lunch. Eating Nutella sandwich. Chad. Hey Anon. Is that a poop sandwich? No. It's everyone laughs. <laughs> Money can't buy happiness. Seven year old me with ten dollars going to the ice cream truck. Children at the aquarium be like, no way. It's Nemo and Dory. Who else remembers this guy? Man, I can hear this picture. When you're listening to music and that one song comes on and you're hit with an overwhelming force of nostalgia. Ten year olds doing TikToks. Me at ten. I don't know what this is, but I remember it. Twenty years later and all of these things fit in your pocket. Core memory unlocked. I think someone needs a nap. Seven year old me. Guys, I found a purpose for my old CD stand. You. Sick and home from school. The TV. Mine was Johnny Test. You need to watch Avatar. I did. I edited Bulbasaur to Toothless's colors and I have come to the conclusion that Bulbasaur is just baby Toothless. Me. Realizing that being gifted during my childhood and putting in absolutely no work in my little fourth grade classes is the reason I have little to no work ethic now. And I get discouraged from things if I'm not good at them immediately. My resident at the nursing home told me that one of her favorite childhood memories was when her father would juggle for her to cheer her up. So you bet I just spent the past week learning how to juggle and I can't wait to show her today. Me and my homie in 2018 discussing if we should buy the battle pass or not. Adulthood doesn't mean you stop drinking juice pouches and eating fruit snacks. It means buying your own and mixing them with vodka at 3 in the morning while marathoning your favorite show because nobody can tell you when to go to bed and then regretting your decisions the next morning. Things toddlers and I have in common don't want to go to bed. Why get dressed when I could keep playing in my pajamas? I'm very tired and therefore I hate you. Just five more minutes. I haven't eaten and I'm hungry so I'm going to cry about it. Needs cookies and juice to function. Will cry if yelled at. What the hell is this? Shaggy looks like he's had enough. Like he's about to roast Fred's old toast head having ass. Eight year old me. When my mom asked how I was able to carry so many grocery bags inside at once. My mom. Little me saying I'm going to take over the world aloud. Ever just said screw it and ate the paper too. Friend. Accidentally eats fruit seed. Friend. Oh man. You know it's going to grow inside of your stomach? Seven year old me. Hello. Okay so unless you've watched the Netflix series you would not understand but Mort is an interdimensional being who has lived a substantial amount of time. Assuming his wives weren't clones of himself. They probably just died of old age or something. Thanks. That really clears things up. What is the most on brand story you have from an early childhood? Mine is when my mom told me not to touch the electric stove when it was red because that meant it was hot. So I made direct eye contact with her and slap. <laughs> when I was born, they thought I had a rare heart condition, but I actually just had what appeared to be a panic attack coming out of the womb. When I was a child, I would install this app on my phone just to intentionally neglect it and then come back to it looking like this and laugh my ass off. There should be a show just called AU. Every single episode, a group of the same characters are in a different alternate universe with no explanation as to why. Every picture of the ET from the Universal Studios ride looks like he's destroying you in a rap battle. The 2000s dolphin bedroom aesthetic hit hard. I actually had a... Uh, I had crystals in my room as a kid. Not, not loads, I had one and it was a blue one. Similar color. I don't even know why I mentioned this. This is this has nothing to do with dolphins. I guess because it's blue. This older, 78 year old lady asked me if I had ever been with a woman. I told her yes and she asked me what was it like. I was like, uh, grandma, this is a bit weird. But she told me she thinks she's 
he's in love with her best friend since childhood. Let's be honest too, you played with this thinking it was a gun when you were little. Do you ever think about how messed up Danny Phantom is? A 14 year old boy dies in a tragic lab accident, but the accident happens halfway into an alternate dimension, so he is both killed in one dimension and not killed in the other. Danny is literally Schrodner's boy, both dead and alive. He's a living corpse, possessed by his own ghost. Dude, what? Childhood injuries, fell off my bike, fell out of a tree, twisted my ankle, adult injuries, slept wrong, sat down for too long, sneezed too hard. The timing of this meme is kind of ironic. I actually messed up my arm a couple days ago, my collarbone. I don't know what I did, but whenever I move my right arm upwards, or do a, uh, a, a you know, a, a chicken motion. <laughs> Knowing you move your arm in the way of a chicken, my collarbone will pop in and out sometimes. I did go to a physiotherapist today, so it should be okay. But if I stop uploading, that means I'm probably dead.